everybody. My name is Granger Wong. I am in third grade, and my presentation today is how to build a cruise ship through Lego Digital Designer, or for short, LDD. The contents of my presentation include three sections. First, I will introduce LDD. In the second section, I will explain the steps to build a ship with LDD. Finally, I will make a conclusion at section 3. Section 1, Introduction. Are you a Lego fan as I am? If you are, you must have lots of used Lego pieces. Do you have any trouble finding the right Lego pieces when you needed them to build something? I do. Recently, I have happened to found, find a very cool tool to solve this headache. This is Lego Digital Designer, or LDD. LDD is fun to use. Next, I would like to show you how to build a ship with LDD. There are four steps to build a ship with LDD. Step one, learning LDD. Step two, building a base. Step three, building a body. Step four, exploring my ship. Let's look at step one, learning LDD. It has a view model, building model, building guide mode. In the view mode, you can do a lot of experiments with your mo own model, like changing background and exploding it. Also, the building mo also the building model, you can make your own model. Also, the building guide mode tells you can see how many Lego steps pieces you use. Step two, building a base. A ship's base is the bottom of a ship. In LDD, you can either Build a base or finding an existed part to be used as a base. Luckily, I found a base to be used for my case. Also, I used green bricks to build the base edge and a lot of white flat tiles to make the floors. I use green bricks to build the base edge and a lot of white flat tiles to make the floors. Step 3. Building a body. Body is the main component of a ship. I use brick and flat pieces to build the body. The ship's body I built includes a control room and two passenger rooms. The control room is very small. However, it has several window walls. This room is equipped with some control panels. I also built a minifigure as my captain. The two large passenger rooms have lots of green seats. Each room has huge windows, so each passenger can enjoy great view. Step 4. Exploring my ship. LDD has many fun features, such as changing background for my ship. This is space. 
This is the desert. Oh, how hard it is. This is the mountain. This is the ocean. Or some kind of waterfall in place. And you can explore it all over. And also up and down, up to right, and left, any way you want. And it puts you exploding. Let's do it. Boom. Oh, cool. Isn't it cool? I hope you say yes. And it builds the correct way I just built it, except backwards of I build it. And this is the building guide. It shows you all the steps. Right now, you see here, according to here, we use 60. I mean, we have 60. But this is how many we use. You see, we only have zero. Now one. These are the wall. You see the windows. And these are my greeny things that cover the edge. You see, these are the first seats of the first, like, passenger world. So, yeah. These are the control panels. And these are my other radars. And these are my flat tiles that I told you about to build the floor of my ship. And these are the second rows of the passenger seats. And these are the windows. This is the leg of my. This is my cat. This is my, my captain is in charge of my ship. And there's the roof. There's the other seats. And look at all those big windows. I told you there was going to be a great view over there. And these are my white tiles to build the roof. And that's it. See? 60 pieces. Three. Conclusion. If you use LDD, you could build any model you want. You will never worry about missing any Lego pieces.